It's that time of the year. Summer is coming to an end and school is about to begin. And this Sunday, the National Hispanic Christian Leadership Conference will be hosting a back to school event where churches all over the U.S. will take part in praying for teachers and students in their local communities. Joining us now by Skype is Dr. Andrea Ramirez, the executive director of the Faith and Education Coalition. Welcome, Dr. Ramirez. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for having me. You bet. Well, why do you sponsor Education Sunday each fall? You know, Mark, it's twofold. First, we see in Scripture that Isaiah tells us when the enemy comes up against us, the Lord will raise a standard. And it would be so easy for students and, and tempting for students to think that school is just another thing they do. But we know that the Lord has called us to love him with the entirety of our minds. And so we want to encourage students and pray for them, rally around them and encourage them to connect their faith with their educational experience. In addition, we know that one out of four Hispanic students in the United States is graduating from high school, not college ready. But we believe that the church is a part of the solution and want to pray about education equality and how we can be involved in seeing education equality be a reality in our nation. Thousands of churches have signed up for Education Sunday this year. How do they participate? It's exciting. Churches get to participate in whatever way they want. We provide free resources. We have Bible studies for children, youth, and parents. We've teamed up with Christianity Today and have produced a bilingual college guide. In addition, we've got our partnerships with Scholastic and with Learning Heroes. And this year, we get to produce um, a parent guide that gives back-to-school tips for parents so that they start that, that semester off on a really strong um, start and, and foot. And so we're excited about that. We keep in contact with these participating churches and provide scholarship opportunities for them throughout the year. So Education Sunday is just the beginning, and then we connect with them throughout the year on these scholarship opportunities. Well, how does this event encourage students and teachers? You know, we see that students and teachers need life spoken over them, and they need to be reminded that our earthly assignments are indeed connected to our eternal purpose. And so that's our prayer for our students and for our teachers, that they're reminded of that and that they feel empowered and that they feel the body of Christ surrounding them, going to the Father on their behalf, and that support system is, is really rallying around them. Luke 10, 27 is a theme verse for Education Sunday. What does it mean to you to love the Lord with your whole mind? That is a jam-packed question. I, the Lord tugged on my heart with this verse and opened my eyes to see, like I mentioned before, that our earthly assignments are connected to our eternal purpose. So whether it's writing a paper, whether it's researching, uh, whether it's studying for a test, those are items that are connected to why we exist and our eternal purpose. And we can invite the Father to help us to see that, that we can raise the standard and really expect the best of ourselves and, and know that God is honoring the fact that he has created us in his image and that he will raise our personal standards and that we can achieve high standards. How does the phrase love your neighbor as yourself, how does that apply to students in a local community? You know, we, we see, we advocate for all forms of education. And so, but we know that 90% of students of America's children are in public school systems. And so we want to connect with those local schools, supporting them, knowing that we are um, an advocate for them and encouraging even homeschooling families. They have a flexibility with their schedule to, to partner up with a local school and to serve as tutors or to host a math night at your church, that we really advocate up for um, education equality across the board and that we love our neighbors as ourselves by ensuring that every child has quality access, excuse me, access to quality education, regardless of their zip code, their income, or their race. How can other churches sign up for Education Sunday or the Faith and Education Coalition? They can go to faithandeducation.com or they can text the word Sunday to 444-999. Okay. Dr. Ramirez, anything else you want to say about the event? Anything else you want to get across? Yeah, we want you to know that we believe that God is raising up the church to stand in this education equality gap. And one of the things that we see is happening is the Every Student Succeeds Act has been passed, and it was a bipartisan effort. And we need believers at the table. We need 
um, the family of Christ to be engaged in this conversation. So I would just urge believers and viewers to get involved, be involved in those public forums that are going to be involved, that are going to be open in each state and, and check out what's happening in your state around the Every Student Succeeds Act. All right, Dr. Ramirez, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Mark.